means hello here on the island. Welcome to Lola's Lanai. Now what? Guess what? It's the greatest resort on the whole island. I'm Rosa, and I live here with my grandmother, Lola. I just call her Lola. <laughs> okay, so we live right here at Lola's Lanai. I love when new friends come to visit. So welcome to our island home. <laughs> I'm really glad you came here. Know what? When you come to stay with me and Lola, we want you to feel like family. Would you like to be my family? Yes! <laughs> oh, goody! And guess what else? Here on the island, we call our family Ohana. Can you say that with me? Ohana! That's it. Ohana means family. We are one big family, even if we don't live in the same house or share the same mom and dad. Hey, I know what we need to do. We need to celebrate you being my Ohana. Stand up like me and let's sing a song. sit down. <laughs> so maybe Lola Slanai looks different than where you live. Know what? I want to show you something. Look, we have lots of pretty flowers and big waves that crash on the shore. Oh, I almost forgot. Lola has two rules for all of our Ohana at the Lanai. They're really good rules too. <laughs> Rule number one is to be kind. Can you wave at me with one hand and say, be kind? Be kind. Yay! Lola says that families listen to each other. One way you can be kind to your ohana is by listening to each other. And rule two is be safe. Everyone wave at me with the other hand and say, be safe. Be safe. Okay, so the island is full of amazing things. But there are some things that could hurt you if you aren't careful. So, Hana, <laughs> you can stay safe by staying close to me on our adventures and by keeping your hands to yourself along the way. That's it. Those are Lola's two rules. Easy peasy. <laughs> I say we head out on an adventure. Ugh, I told Lola I don't want to pick up coconuts. Why do I have to? 
Ohana, have you ever had to do something that you didn't want to do? Yes. You too? I guess we all have to do things we don't want to do sometimes. But I really didn't want to come out here in the blazing hot sun to pick coconuts. It's too hot. And now I can't find any coconuts and Lola won't let me climb the trees like the older kids, so I have to dig around in the leaves. But since we're already out here and you are here with me, will you help me find some coconuts? Yes! <laughs> Yay! Thank you! And if you help me, we can find the coconuts and get back to Lola a lot faster. Okay, so... Do you see any coconuts around here? Yeah! I do too. Let's all pretend to pick it up. Here we go. Pretend with me. Yay! Now I need another coconut, but I don't see any. Do you? Yeah! Here it is. Everyone pretend to pick up the coconut. Okay, let's count how many we have. One, two. two. We have two, so we don't need but one more. Can you help me find another one? Yeah! Oh, <laughs> I see it. Let's pick it up. Pretend with me. <laughs> Yay, we did it. Let's count all the coconuts to make sure we have three. Count with me. One, one two, two, three. three. We got all three. Now we better head back to see Lola and get out of this blazing hot sun. I have a special way to get back to the lanai. Know what it is? Do what I do and say what I say. I love the island. I love the island. And dancing the hula. And dancing the hula. So let's go back. So let's go back. To see Lola. To see Lola. Oh, look, we made it. There's Lola. Everyone say, Aloha, Lola. Aloha, Lola. <laughs> Aloha. Oh, we are so happy to have you join us on the island. And thank you for your help today. Since you're family while you're here, I want to show you some pictures from our family photo album. Okay, if you're ready to hear about your family from long ago, let me see you click on your listening ears. Click, click. click. Great! Now, you also need to put on your special eyes. Zoop, zoop. Oh, that's perfect. Now let's see. This is Joseph. He's part of our Ohana from long ago. Ohana is how we say family around here. Joseph's dad loved him more than all of his other kids, even though a parent should love all of their kids the same. Once, Joseph's dad gave him a special colorful coat. This made his brothers so mad because they knew their dad loved him more than any of them. Their anger caused them to hurt Joseph, tear his colorful coat, and toss him into a deep hole. They planned to leave Joseph there all alone, but they decided to sell him to some people from a faraway town. The brothers took Joseph's colorful coat back home and told their dad that Joseph had been killed by an animal. Ohana, did the brothers tell their dad the truth or a lie? A lie. That's right. The brothers lied to their dad, but their dad believed them, and he was so very sad. Meanwhile, Joseph was a servant to the leader in a faraway town. He had lots of problems while he was there, but God was with him, loved him, and helped him. After many years, the leader of the town loved Joseph so much that he put Joseph in charge of collecting and giving out food to all the people. You see, they didn't have stores like we do now, and they couldn't grow food for a long, long time. People from towns near and far came to Joseph and asked for food. 
One day, Joseph saw some men coming to ask for food, and Joseph realized that he knew them. It was his brothers! Joseph was so surprised to see them. Joseph had grown and changed so much that his brothers didn't even know it was him. Finally, Joseph told them who he was. If you think that his brothers were scared, show me a scared face. I see those faces. Joseph's brothers were scared that he would be mad at them for hurting him long ago, but Joseph didn't hurt them. He told them how much he loved them and he forgave them. You see, Joseph knew that God loved him and always forgave him when he did wrong things. Because Joseph knew God loved him, he could show love to his brothers and forgive them too. God loves us and wants us to love our family just like he does. Let me hear you say this after me. I can. I, I can. Love. Love. My family. My family. Great job. Aloha, Ohana. Aloha, Lola. Know what? Joseph's story was just what I needed to hear. Because I guess I wasn't being very loving when I complained about finding coconuts. Guess what? I need to tell Lola and all of you that, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for acting grumpy and not loving my family well. Do you forgive me? Yes! Thank you, Ohana. I sure do love my family. If you can love your family, let me hear you say this after me. I can. I can. Love. Love. My family. My family. You sounded great, Ohana. I say we stand up and sing a song together to celebrate. Everyone, stand on up with me. Love each other, love each other, as brothers and sisters, as brothers and sisters, in honor others, in honor others, more than yourself, more than yourself. Romans 12, 10, Romans 12, 10, God gave us family, we can help and love, we gifts to each other from up above. Like they are more important than we are. 
That's what God wants us to do. So now, would you like a cool treat? Yes! Yay! I'm going to use my shell phone to call Anu. He's a cool chameleon with some tasty treats. Hold your pretend shell phones like this. And when I count to three, let's all whisper, Anu. One, two, three. Anu! Aloha, Ohana. If you can tell me what you learned on the island today, you can get a tasty snow cone. So let's get busy building your cool treat now. Tell me, did Joseph's brothers love him or hurt him? Hurt him. That's right. Joseph's brothers were jealous because their dad gave him the special coat. So they hurt Joseph and sold him to people from a faraway town. Let's load up this first snowball with yummy syrup. Okay, now it's time for your next snowball and your next question. When his brothers came to him for food, did Joseph love them or hurt them? Love them. You're right. Joseph knew that because God loved him, he could love his brothers, even if they hurt him long ago. Their family wasn't perfect, and neither is mine, but God still loves us. God loves the family he gave you, too. Let's load up this snowball with some yummy syrup. It's looking delicious, but I think it needs one more scoop of ice. And you know what that means. One last question. Can you love your family? Yes. Yes, God loves your family and he wants you to love them too. You can love the family you live with and your Ohana family. Now it's time to put the yummy syrup on this last snowball. This looks perfect. Only the best for my Ohana. Enjoy your snow cone. Aloha. Aloha, Anu. Thank you. Everyone grab your spoons and let's eat up these snow cones. Mmm, so yummy. Did you like your cool treat from Anu, Ohana? Yes. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you for being my Ohana, my family. I have to get back to the front desk and help Lola, but know what? God loves your family, and he wants you to love them, too. You can say this after me, okay? I can. I can. Love. Love. My family. My family. That's it. I had so much fun with you on the island today. I do hope you will come back to see me again next week. Aloha, Ohana.